back to Ugly Hope. This is long, long overdue. Anyway, the developer was kind enough to, to post a set of instructions on how to beat the game, and now I am more confident than ever in beating the game. I actually recorded this for like an hour yesterday, but for some reason that disappeared, so I'm gonna do this again. But even with the instructions, I was only able to reach the part where the police came. I was actually able to um, fully beat the game since I died a horrible death, and I don't think dying is the correct ending here, right? How my head hurts. Hi Francis, it's you again. So a few things the developer mentioned is that we don't want to be looking left and right too much, because um, it would give the creature enough time to draw like lines here on the middle wall. And once you get three lines, you just lose. Which is pretty brutal, but whatever. It, it makes the game worse or more challenging. Another mechanic that the developer mentioned is that the creature actually appears on both sides and it has three stage. Oh god. It has three stages. At such times, it's better to turn off the flashlight. So if it appears with like just its hand, that's stage 1. If it appears with its head, that's stage 2. Then if it appears with half of its body... What the fuck? What? Where? When? Fuck. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh. I'm still not used to that. <sighs> if it appears with half of its body, that means it's stage 3, and you don't have that much time to shine your light on it and scare it away. What the hell? Yeah, more about the mechanics. Um, so, the, it's kind of like every time you shine the light on the monster, you reset it, but let's say the monster gets to stage 3, before you reset the monster, um, it will like come out faster. So there's a balance where you are forced to look to your sides, but you don't want to stare, or you don't want to keep looking away to the side too much, or else your middle wall will get the- oh god. Will get the 3 scratches, and you instantly die. Okay, that's always a good sign that the monster's coming out. Okay. Oh my god, stage 3 already? What the frick? Oh no. That's a bad start. There. Okay. Please stay not there. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Okay, we turn to the left now. We turn to the left. Okay. It's afraid of the light. Yes, Francis. Oh no, no, no. <sighs> also, I don't know if that's a bug or if it's really part of the story. Every time Francis says something, his name just slightly changes. Oh. Whoa. No, 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 friendly old. I don't really like you that much, you know? How about you just stay in yours? Oh, fuck! While I look at this, what was a creature can do in it? Yes. But I need to look to the sides or else the creature will get you, Francis. If that even is your name. I knew it. I'm, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh. The creature on the left, I didn't get to look at it before I got... <sighs> okay. It's kind of empty here at the start, which I really appreciate. Um, this means that we kind of have like this half a minute grace period where the monster won't appear at all. So we're just gonna stare at the center wall. Oh, whoops. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> 
Also, if you're wondering why I'm not looking, what? What? What was that? What the hell was that? Does it double? At such times, it's better to turn off the flashlight. Okay. If you're wondering why I'm not looking here on top, it's because the developer mentioned something about that being a special monster that's only afraid of the UV. And to be honest, I've never had trouble with that, so yeah. I don't bother with looking on top because it's just taking up my time when time is so precious in this game. if three lines appear on the wall. I don't think you want to know that, Francis. Here comes the police. The police? Hey, I'm here. Help. Please help me. Yeah. Very convincing, Francis. Go away, please. Oh, God. Here comes the UV monster. He's gonna come out soon. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so scared of him. They're not UV. No, no, no. No. Oh my god. I was prepared for him and I still missed it. Fuck. My only problem with the UV monster is that I I would need to keep my mouse here in the center so I can go click up or click the turn off lights. Um which gives me less time to react. Not, it doesn't give me less time to react, but it'll Take me longer to react. It's afraid of the light. Yes, Francis. Oh god. <laughs> uh. No, Francis, it ain't afraid of the light. It just doesn't want to be seen. Cause clearly turning off the lights is <laughs> Oh go away, bro. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants to be your friend. Three eyed, three finger freak. Such a loser. You lonely, no friends. What loser? Haha, <laughs> loser, go away. Oh. Go away, dude. Seriously, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be friends with you. Please. Please go away. Oh boy. Okay. Go away. Nobody likes you. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
the left. Go away. Please. I'm begging you to leave. Monster's gonna come out soon. I'm, I'm keeping my mouth here. I'm, I'm done insulting you, man. Can, can you leave now? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for insulting you. You have such a beautiful face, you know? That pale skin make all the girls jealous. Those Red eyes, shiny, beady red eyes. Oh god, what was that? Is the police? Hey, I'm here! Help! Please help me! You don't sound very convincing, Frenzic. <laughs> uh. Screw you, bitch! Oh. oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. try this again and if I don't beat it I think I might continue this tomorrow again <laughs> like I've been pushing these off cuz I couldn't beat this game this is like my third session now I like the challenge the challenge is always good but it's a little too hard if you know what I mean there's a huge amount of luck also involved from my perspective, because in all technicality, it's not just you're scaring away one monster. There's three of them. There's the one on the left, the one you have to look out for in the center to turn off your lights and scratch your walls, and the one on the right. And they all have like different timers. So if the one on the left is like stage two and you stare away, what? I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna try one one last time because I, I want to explain my take on this. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that monster. If this the one the monster on the left is at stage two or it like have half of its body out and I shine my light on it and it goes away, that doesn't mean the one on the right side goes away too because there's like three of them and if you turn to the middle and then there's like the monster forcing you to flash your light and you turn off your lights to wait for the monster to go away the one on the right has the opportunity to come out and kill you right and there's like no signs on whether they came out or not on the left and right side so you can't strategize that much so there's like a a lot factor involved really Plus the one scratch in the middle is kind of random, like 
what makes it scratch the middle. Because some of the runs I did, I counted in my head. One, two, three, four, five. Look to the left. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Look to the right. And I managed to get to the police part with only one scratch. Then on my other runs, at such times, I counted to ten. Like scare that away. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I look to the left. So obviously, I stared at this middle wall for a longer amount of time. The the scratch monster still scratched all three times before the police came. Like, is there something I'm missing? I don't know. It's afraid of the light. But I have to say, this is a great game. Um, the challenge is always accepted. What the fuck took you guys so long? <gasps> my father, the policeman, said that my father was connected with the fact that I disappeared that night. Oh, my father. The policeman said that my father was connected with the fact that I disappeared that night. But they did not believe in my stories about the monsters. The police also said that my father killed a man that night. They tried to find him, but he escaped, and now his location is unknown. All this is very strange, but one thing, but one thing I am sure. My father is somehow closely connected with these creatures. Oh my god, that was that close to finishing the entire time? Oh, oh, oh. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it, leave a comment, I enjoy reading them, so tired, and as always, till next time.